Hi, welcome to HowToStats.com. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to perform a Kappa analysis and how to interpret in SPSS. And I'm also going to show uh, how why a Kappa is so important in comparison to arguably an intuitive way to do a an agreement analysis. Right, so that's what Kappa is. Kappa is a uh, inter-rater agreement uh, statistic that controls for uh, the agreement that you would expect based on chance alone. So here's an example that I've got from uh, that's based on a, a textbook by Fleiss in 1981. Uh, and I'll add some references to the uh, summary description, or I'll probably add a link to a, um, a web page that I have that I'll write up for Kappa, and you can have some references to some of the stuff I talk about in this video. Uh, in this example, uh, there are a hundred patients that were uh, rated for three levels of uh, disorder, and they were psychological, uh, neurological, and organic. All right, so we can actually look at the value labels by clicking here, and I've got everyone rated because I put value labels into SPSS, and we've got people that were rated as having a psychological disorder. And these are two. Uh, psychiatrist, so rater A, rater B. And it wouldn't matter what type of analysis you're doing, you just need two raters. Uh, so psychological, they rated psychological for a lot of people. In fact, they agreed on 75, at least 75 people, just on psychological alone. And then we have uh, some mix and, and ma uh, some mixing. So uh, this patient here with ID 31127 was identified by rater A as having a neurological problem, but rater B said psychological. All right, so there is, a, there is a lot of agreement, but there's also disagreement. So how might we go about analyzing the level of, of agreement between the ratings of the psychiatrist A and psychiatrist B? Well, one pe approach people might want to take is to simply look at the agreement in terms of, well, what percentage of the 100 patients that were rated, what percentage of them had the same number? And that might be a relatively intuitive way to do the analysis, but it would be wrong. And that's where kappa comes in. And I'll do it very quickly to show you what you get. So I'm just going to calculate a variable called difference. And it's going to be rater A minus rater B. So that's going to create a variable. So any variable that isn't a 0 in this case, because it's the difference between rater A and rater B, you could conceivably consider that your level of agreement. So you'd say, in this case here, uh, based on the frequency table, there are 89 patients that had no discrepancy between rater A and rater B's uh, classification which would suggest 89% of agreement. The problem is that there's a certain amount of capitalization on chance. There's only three alternatives, psychological, neurological, and organic. So just by chance, you would expect uh, some agreement, especially when one type of disorder is very prevalent within the sample. And that's where Kappa comes in. Kappa corrects for that chance agreement uh, within the data. So to calculate